for us. I totally misjudged how long that white screen would last. But we're in there. Starting things off by winning the Fireball War. Here's Otea showing that he, he can uh, hang with the Akuma matchup. The Fist starts fighting back a little bit. Both of them getting hit by some fake block strings, and then Nuckfist neutral jumps as the throw bait, putting Fizute in the corner, and then blocks the EX headbutt for the stun, and it's going to be close. Not enough to kill, but it's going to be close. Just about one more touch will do it. Oh, and I take that back as he just got touched from the trade. But um, Fizute fighting his way back out with his EX um, ex this and whatnot, but Nuckfist is able to get the jump in, take it out. With that, going to round two. And Fizote is starting off with the jumpings, the jump-ins, and Nuckfist has been dealing pretty well with them. Not ready for that uh, EX headbutt, though. Letting Fizote to even up the life lead. You say it's still not backing up, putting on the pressure. And then uses great use of the EX headbutt as an anti-air. Gets the jump in over the uh, EX fireball and takes the round. Takes the round, tying it up 1-1. One, one. The foolish insect that dares to the final round. Fight. Turn things off again with an early anti-air out of Yuzute into just goodness. Now he's got quarter control. Let's see how he's able to use it. Nuckfist is able to jump his way out at a little bit of a cost. Now, now he's got the corner. Fusotea seems to be cracking a little bit under that corner pressure until he lands a great jump in. Putting Nuckfist on the ropes and the back throw takes it. The back throw takes it and, uh... Durian uh, What am I trying to say? Fusotea takes game one. Um, Mr. Burr, Burr? Mr. Burr? Uh, so the tournament literally just started. The tournament literally just started. Uh, so you're a little bit late. We run this, we run, it's for West Coast Street Fighter players. Round one. We run this every, every, um, every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific. So, miss this week, but you can play next week. Okay. Alright. With that, we're into game two. And Snuckfist is uh, looking a little angry. Putting the pressure on, but then E to the X headbutt into V trigger combo. What's it gonna be? Ooh, man. Fiza has got the V trigger combos on pad. Is that enough for stun? It's enough for stun. It's really scaled though, so it's not enough to kill, but what's it gonna be? What? Waiting for that EX uh, DP, but none came. Now Fizotea has got to eat the uh, V trigger. The V trigger fireballs out of uh, Nutfist, and he's not able to do it. He's not able to do it, and uh, Nutfist is able to clutch that one out. Round two. Fight. Now Nutfist again starting things off pretty strong, but eating another EX headbutt. Ooh, that I'm sure was an EX headbutt out of uh, Fizotea, but messed up his charge a little bit. Ooh, and then that headbutt, headbutt to catch the fireball. Damn, that's like so far away. And then Nuckface eats just a raw tackle, not even EX, but a good anti-air out of him. And a good block on that EX uh, headbutt, and it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. The tick, not even tick, the throw does it. Knuck fist ties it up one a piece. One a piece. And Admiral Catch. Admiral Catch. The real fake silver of all of this is actually uh, Nick D's Nuts. Nick D's Nuts is the fake silver. I think this guy is legit silver. He Round just has one. a style that's catching Knuck fist out Sorry. off guard. Oh, great read on the jump in, but. It hits over the air fireball anyways. Nuckfist is starting to employ those neutral jumps to, uh, to, bait, to beat out all of those uh, headbutts that Fizotea seems to be throwing. Dumps himself into the corner. 
fighting his way back out. Tilotea's not ready on those uh, ADRs. And Nuckfist is making quick work of round one. Goes for the overbet. Way missed time. Dude, is able to hit that uh, headbutt. Ooh, drops his, uh, drops the mirror setup a little bit. Doesn't really matter too much though, but once again, beating out the headbutt with a neutral jump, and Nuckfist takes another round, putting it at match point. Round two. Point. Just throwing those fireballs. Oh, and then, then a, a bad time to air fireball just to get hit by one of Akuma's red fireballs. It seems like both of them had enough of this fireball nonsense that they've started going toe to toe. I was gonna say Nutfish just put himself in the corner, but he throws Kizuteo back in there. He's starting to put on some of that corner pressure. But Kizuteo gets out of there with the, uh, the EX uh, shoulder. Ooh, EX shoulder ends the Aegis setup. What's it gonna be? What's the mix-up? Ooh, try and miss time, miss times his meeting, then Nutfish miss times it back, and then gets cut by the EX to be in the last possible frame. Into back throw, and that's gonna do it. This is a is tying it up. One apiece, we're going to last match, last rounds. Final round. He's a Tez showing that he's not, he is not free. Bad trade for Akuma there. As Nuckfist starts to get some of those anti airs out of there. Good challenge on that forward move by Kizutea, but uh, he's getting himself backed into that corner, and then he just knees his way right back out of there. Seems to be that this game is the story of the meaty setups. People seem to just be losing based off of just messing them up. And now Nuckfist is working on a large life lead. Large life lead, and then the large life lead into counter hit combo. The steal of the game. And the match. Kuma wins. Taking it over Fusa Tail. That was a great showing by Fusa Tail, though. That was. That was, that was a really good showing. He showed that he was not free. Not free to that stuff. And uh, he will be in the loser's bracket, and he'll, he'll keep it's going. Go time. They will keep going.